you you ever get where you want to go you have to you have to take a path that's dangerous and most people want to take the safe path and the safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation mm -hmm. almost every time it's hell it's hell you're selling insurance or some other shit that you care zero about but can people just make that change? I mean, yes, look, you can, I believe they but can. But you have to plan it out. The way you can change is you have to put aside enough money to give yourself a window. And then you have to have a plan. And you have right. to spend all your waking hours outside of whatever shit job you right. do planning your escape. And you have to come to the realization very clearly that you fucked up and you got yourself stuck. So whatever you're doing, you have to do it like your life depends yes. on it. And whether it is... You're trying to be an author and you're going to, you're going to, if you're going to try to be an author and you're working eight hours a day, plus commuting, plus family responsibilities or whatever else you have, whatever time that you have, you have to attack like you're trying to save the world. You're trying to save your life. You don't want to drown that one and a half hours a day that you have to write. God damn, you better be caffeinated and motivated. You got to go. You got to get after it and you got to have discipline. That's most people don't have those things. Most people don't understand what it's like to to really go for something. But the point stands, you must look for alternatives so that you find your destiny. Or are you afraid of the word, de word destiny? Does the word destiny, the word destiny scare you? That's what we're talking about. And if you don't find the highest expression of your talent, if you settle for interesting, what the hell ever that means, do you know what will happen at the end of your long life? Your friends and family will be gathered in the cemetery and there beside your grave site will be a tombstone and inscribed on that tombstone it will say, here lies a distinguished engineer who invented Velcro. But what that tombstone should have said in an alternative lifetime. What it should have said, if it was your highest expression of talent, was here lies the last Nobel laureate in physics, who formulated the grand unified field theory and demonstrated the practicality of warp drive. Velcro indeed. One was a great career. One was a missed opportunity. But then, there are some of you, in spite of all these excuses, you will find, you will find your passion. And you'll still fail. You're gonna fail because, because you're not going to do it. Because you have invented a new excuse, any excuse to fail, to take action. And this excuse I've heard so many times.